And Henry's long-range goal of reaching Asia was made a lot easier because new types of ships, called caravels, had been recently invented. Ships that had better rudders for steering, as well as improved sails. The ship seen here looks a lot like an early Portuguese caravel. It is a copy of the Mayflower, the English ship that carried the pilgrims to Massachusetts. And even though the Mayflower was built 150 years after Prince Henry's death, it still had quite a bit in common with the first caravels. For just like the Mayflower, the earliest caravels sat high in the water, were light and fast, but were still wide enough to be able to carry the large amounts of water and food needed for the long months at sea. Here in Lagos, Portugal, not far from the navigation school, Prince Henry founded shipyards to build new caravels. And since much of the money for these ships came from an ancient organization of crusaders called the Knights of Christ, of which Prince Henry was the leader, the sails of the ships usually carried the emblem of the cross seen here. With these new ships, and the well-trained seamen coming from his school, Prince Henry began a systematic campaign of exploration down the coast of Africa. Although his main motive for these explorations was to find a new trade route to Asia, he also had a few more immediate goals. First, he hoped to chart unknown regions of the world and to bring back detailed information which could be analyzed at his school. Second, he hoped to claim land and establish valuable new trading relationships that would increase the wealth and power of his country. And third, he hoped to bring the Christian religion to people in these new lands. And so he even had daily religious services held in this church at the navigation school. The Portuguese exploration of the west coast of Africa continued throughout the lifetime of Henry the Navigator. And as they moved down the coast, the explorers put up carved stone markers, like this one, showing that Portugal claimed these lands by right of discovery. But it took until 1487, almost three decades after Prince Henry was laid in his tomb, before the first Europeans, sailing under the command of Captain Bartholomew Diaz of Portugal, finally reached the tip of Africa. And another decade passed before the newly discovered route around the Cape of Good Hope was used by Vasco da Gama to reach India, where he established Portugal's first great Asian colony. 